Mark, if Manchester United are going to move on from De Gea, what do you suppose the market is for this goalie? Well, this is the problem, isn't it? I think you look around and financially it's going to be a problem to, to get him off the books because he's on a lot of money in terms of wages and, and they would come under a high fee because he's only late 20s, early 30s and he's, he's got a long contract. So I think right now it's unrealistic to think that clubs will be able to buy him. And secondly, you know, Barcelona don't need him. Real Madrid have got Courtois. You know, Atletico Madrid could be an option going back to Atletico because I think if, if United were, were said, look, you can have Jan Oblak in exchange for David De Gea, I think, I think that would suit United down to the ground. Oblak's a fantastic goalkeeper. I think he's a step above David De Gea now. And De Gea back to Spain, back to Madrid. It's not the, the move to Real that he wanted three or four years ago, but he's an Atletico keeper from the past. I think Atletico could be the option. You know, PSG is another one as well, but again, you know, they seem to have moved away from De Gea a little bit. Juventus, they probably need a goalkeeper because I'm not convinced about Wojciech Szczesny, but same thing again. The wages, you know, will Juventus in this climate of financial hardship be willing to pay David De Gea a salary that could be approaching £300,000 a week as well as the fee that comes with it. So I think he may have priced himself out of the market a little bit. Shaq is just 29 years old. Are we are we giving up on David De Gea just a little bit too early here? Um, ordinarily, I'd say yes. But I haven't seen anything from David here over the last couple of years to suggest to continue sticking with him. Listen, just before he, he, he signed that new long-term deal that, that Mark alluded to and... He, he so he, his form had started to dip desperately, and and I thought it was a case of him kind of emotionally checking out of of Old Trafford and and wanted to move on. But then the offer came and and he signed it, but his fortunes haven't really turned around. So now you you're wondering, well, where is it all going wrong? And most of the point, how does he how does he correct it? I, I'm not sure that he has the answers. And and right now, this is Mark was saying. Probably the best option is, is to get rid of him, but you don't know who. Mark is seeing Atletico Madrid and, and a straight swap with, with all black. But give him, give him his, give him his wages. I, I'm not sure who takes that kind of chance. I, I given how good all black is, I'm not sure why Atletico Madrid just go for a straight swap. There would be money involved when all of a sudden it becomes very expensive for a goalkeeper who hasn't showed any kind of reform that you would expect for at least two years. Mark, real quick, let's change gears. Manchester United linked to seemingly everybody. Uh, Donny van de Beek, the, the latest. Number one team that seemed to always be linked with van de Beek was Real Madrid. Now it seems like Manchester United in the driver's seat. How realistic is that? Well, it's a deal they've been looking at for quite a while, United. They, they were looking at van de Beek in January. I was told in January that they, they thought that they, they could have got two players out of Ajax. That One was Donny van de Beek and the other one was Hakim Ajax. Now, obviously, Ajax went to Chelsea, but... Ajax, having been knocked out of the Champions League in the group stage, there was a, there was a feeling at, at United that they would be vulnerable to to an offer for a player that, you know, in terms of market value, would be much more valuable or, or you know, make more sense than going for James Madison or Jack Grealish. So there's an interest in Van der Beek. It's long-standing, but there was also an acceptance at United that his favourite option was Real Madrid. Now Real, it seems that they're going to be looking around to you know bring people back from loan, people like Martin Odegaard from loan. I don't think there's going to be a lot of money at Madrid to, to do this kind of deal for Van der Beek. It's not going to cost a lot of money, but they may make one big signing this summer. That could be, it could be anyone. It could be Paul Pogba. I don't think it will be, but I think that if they're going to make a big signing, they can't be spending money on, on like tier two signings like Van der Beek. So it's come back into United's kind of remit to, to, to go after Van der Beek. And I think they look at the, the value that they will, they will present. I think it'd be a good deal for United. So that's definitely one to watch. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.